Councillor Alan Coleman, you raised an issue at the Council here this morning. You described the creeping closure of the existing post office service and specifically a situation in Belgooley. What's happening? What's happened in Belgooley is unfortunately the po our postmaster there passed away, Shawnee Allen, who provided years of service. And within a week, when post management were down to the, to the office saying that the contract was over, cannot be passed on to another family member. So they were given a temporary contract and told their new contract they would be earning 50% less than what they're earning at the moment and that they would have to invest in a major upgrade of the existing post office at their own cost. And this is making it totally unviable for the local, the Allen family in Belgooli to continue providing the post office service in Belgooli. And can I ask you, what would happen after the temporary um, contract? Well, after the temporary contract, he would have to, the, the family would have to commit to investing in upgrading the post office and they would be given a three-year contract at less than 50% of what the previous contract was. No guarantee of a continuity after the three years. So it would be financially uh, um, impossible for them to take up this contract offer. And can I ask you, what did you ask for here this morning at the council meeting? Well, what I asked for is that Cork County Council would write to local and post management and express all concerns, number one, at the way that they're treating families of deceased postma postmasters, um, the fact that they're not allowing contracts be transferred from an ill or incapacitated postmaster onto a family member while they're alive, that they're terminating the contract and issuing new contracts which are just totally unviable financially. It is effectively a creeping closure of the network, given that we were promised by both on post and the Minister early, earlier this year that the redundancy package that they introduced for, so, for 169 post offices, that that was going to be the end of it, all the rest of the post offices would be maintained in rural Ireland. That is patently not the case from what we see what's happening in Belgooli at the moment. Thank you.